on today's episode of Moto Cheese. Check out this Norvin Outdoor Power Station. This is a little different than the other ones that I've done, and I'll show you why. So he's got some massive batteries in it. It's got a 1,480 watt hour capacity, over 3,000 life cycles for charging, 1,500 watt bi-directional inverter, AC input, output, and it's sine wave, solar charging. It has a car start, three types of charging, multiple output ports, and it's got BMS, battery safety management system. This is heavy. Nice big user's manual. That's where your jumper cable connects. If you notice, it has that third pin. So it's not a standard cable for the jump or the external battery. So the one off my jump pack will not fit it. It only has two pins, not that third small pin. AC input. 1500 watts and you have a uh, input 120 volts at 10 amps and 400 watt solar charging a little storage compartment this does not have wireless charging that's just a storage bin power cord And the USB to USB cord. They could have fit both of them in one box. Let's charge this big boy up. Now that's fast charging right there. Over 1500 watts. So we're at 100%. We're going to run these two fans. This is the load test I do on all of them. I guess we'll see if it starts both of them at once. It's a pretty good surge. Pretty good, a lot of them won't start both fans at once. So the time is 11.58. We're gonna see how the sine wave looks on this as it's running. 430 watts, it's drawing. Now it's nice having three outlets on this. For AC output. Looks like a really, really clean sine wave we have. About 115, roughly, average RMS. Holding a pretty consistent 60 hertz. This unit does not come with jumper cables, but the company supplied me with a link where you can get them. The cables are a little short in my opinion because this is kind of heavy. It also does not come with that backup battery cable. So here's uh, technical parameters. Identification of the plugs and ports in the front. This is what comes in the box, as I showed when I opened the box. 1,408 watt hours. This should really run over two hours easily on those two fans. 416 watts. So standard charging is fully charged in about one hour. Solar charging, depending on the input, three to four hours. You know, it all depends on the sunlight. And if you're charging it through the car, it could take 12 to 13 hours. And of course, if you're charging it, use the approved cables. That's how you charge with the solar panels. It's been 17 minutes and we're down to 90% battery capacity. Holding pretty good. Fan's working. It's not even hardly warmed up at all yet. I'll get the thermal reader out soon. On the back of the unit is the light. If 
three different brightnesses and a flashing and SOS. Also the specifications are on the back. Very nice unit. Pretty hefty too for the size of it. It's really heavy because they give you a lot of battery power in that unit. These are 100 watt ports. Let's see. Oh, yeah, super fast charging. Let's try these other USB ports. Alright, that's fast charge. That's fast charge. They don't supply you with a 12 volt 10 amp. That's uh, also a purchase separate item for that cord. Solar charge. I hope I have that plug. I don't think I do. I'm going to have to look. And of course the AC input. That's a standard PC plug. 102, so it's been a little over an hour now. 61% battery left. An hour and a half. 45%. Exactly two hours. 30% left. Let's see what kind of heat this thing is throwing out, huh? Pretty good, even where the outlets are, isn't heating up. Very good heat dissipation. That's where the fan intake is. And that's the exhaust. It's like just over lukewarm. I'd say that's pretty good. Exactly two and a half hours, 10% capacity. Wow, we're down to 1%. It's still going. 252, so it's almost three hours. Pretty damn good. And it just died. The time is 254, so almost three hours. Not bad. And it's not warm at all. Let's see if I have this adapter. A few moments later. I do not have that adapter, but the last two portable power supplies I've tested came with that style adapter, so I guess I better pick one up. So let's plug this in and see how long it takes to charge off the AC. It says about an hour. Let's see. The time is 2.57. Wow, look at that charging wattage. That's incredible. Battery didn't overheat. So this on a refrigerator, you know, if you don't have the door open all the time, would probably last days, literally. I've tested other units on a refrigerator and I've gone a full day and it didn't drain it down. Similar size units like this. So let's see how long it takes to charge up to full. Wow, it's been five minutes and we're already at 6%. 1,503 watts. That's a super plus for that fast type of charging like that. Very rare have I seen a unit that charges that fast, especially for the size of it. There's only been one other unit that's done that, so that's that's an A plus for this. We're like 15 minutes into it and it popped a breaker on my little extension. So I guess you want to have that directly plugged in. Yeah, this thing charges crazy fast. And you realize 1500 watts is like 13 amps. That's why I popped that little circuit breaker.
Uh, that was pretty quick, about 55 minutes, even with the breaker tripping. Very good. So the voltage at the jumper cable output is 13.32 volts. And you have a boost button on the cables that you would buy. When you push that, I'm sure it raises the voltage for a boost. On the external battery side, it's 26.81 volts. So your external battery, I assume, would have to be a 24 volt battery. So for the RV connector, 12 volt, 10 amp, you hook it up and it'll supply 10 amps to your RV, 12 volts. Optional plug, as I mentioned. If you wanted to use a jump start feature, and you get the optional cord, it's basically the same as having a jump pack. So what do I think of this unit? I think this unit has a massive battery and when you're choosing one of these portable power supplies you want to decide do you want long battery life or do you want high power output because that's a factor in what it costs to buy this unit and make this unit. Personally the larger battery capacity is more needed than the output so the battery capacity matching the output is actually the ideal way to purchase one of these. Having this jumper cable is definitely a plus. I wish they would have included it with the unit. The stuff that's online that I put links to have short cables so you have to pick this heavy unit up and put it on the car which I think is not really that ideal. So this should come with about five foot of cable so you can reach it from the ground and this RV cable which is 10 amps is bi-directional so you can hook it to a battery and the battery will feed this give it more capacity and vice versa this will charge the battery and of course the 12 volt charging portion of this unit that cable is not included either I put a link down below in the description and the solar charging cable that would be a plus to get that with the unit because there's a few different types that these units use and I have a universal plug set and that's not in it so all in all I think this unit is excellent it performed well and the battery life is phenomenal the charging time was phenomenal very fast for the size of the battery that's in it and it does draw like you saw, 12 and a half amps. The only negative thing I have to say about this is it doesn't include the cables. I think for a few extra bucks, they should throw the cables in there. I mean, they did give you those huge boxes with like little cables in it, so. <laughs> but I understand they try to keep the cost down so it looks favorable when someone's going to look and purchase one of these. I also noticed that the time remaining feature did not show up on the screen. So if you're interested, I'll have the links down below. Smash that like button because I try to do these because I'm so interested in them. So you guys know what to get and what to expect. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button too while you're at it. And the bell. <laughs> That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.